So some interesting wrestling news came out last night, and it had nothing to do with Raw or SmackDown or anything else that really happened inside of a wrestling ring. It had to deal with the world of politics, the political squared circle, as Glenn Jacobs won his Republican primary in the mayoral race for, I think it's Knox County, Tennessee. Again, I'm going to emphasize, Glenn Jacobs won his Republican primary and is one step closer to becoming a mayor in the state of Tennessee. That's right, Glenn Jacobs, Isaac Yankum, Fake Diesel, Kane, could be mayor of a city in Tennessee near you very soon. What a weird yet intriguingly awesome world we live in sometimes, you know? I look at this, and I think this is kind of cool, honestly. I've got to say. I personally think it's kind of cool. Because for years, it has always frustrated me the stigma that goes along with professional wrestling people in professional wrestling, people that watch professional wrestling, how many other people that don't watch, don't get professional wrestling, thumb their noses up at it, look down upon it, mock it, and have so many things to say about how it's an immoral product and da da da, and it portrays uh, bad things in terms of sex and language and violence and all this other hot garbage. You know, the same people that will sit there and love shoot 'em up bang bang movies and so on and so forth. And I've always thought that was ridiculous to where guys like Clint Eastwood could be mayor of a city in California with all of the movies he was in that were shoot 'em up bang bang. Somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger is a gubernator of California for God's sakes. Like this guy was a freaking Terminator and in so many other roles over the years where he killed people. But we don't attach that stigma with him being a politician. It, 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 it helps him. It didn't hurt him. It helped him. It gave him a massive star power and appeal that he might not have otherwise had. Or you look at Ronald Reagan, another former actor who is in war movies where you portrayed death. Shoot him up, bang, bang, westerns where again you portrayed death. And he was a two-term governor of California, if memory serves me correctly, in the 60s and 70s, and later became president of the United States. I don't understand how being a television or a movie actor is actually seen as this incredible positive to get into the realm of politics, but being a professional wrestler, when you break it down to the fundamental nuts and bolts, they are soap opera actors. They are method soap opera actors. Their own stunt doubles. But yet, that's viewed as a bad thing. It's viewed as a negative because it's professional wrestling, because it's this. And it's just idiotic. So I think it's kind of cool that somebody like Glenn Jacobs has decided that, hey, I've had a really nice career as a professional wrestler, but I want to do something else with my life, and I feel like I can make a difference. Now, I could sit there and respect somebody and their desire to want to make a difference and not agree with them philosophically on some important things. And there are things I agree with Glenn Jacobs on and there are things that I do not. And that is okay. This world is best served with different perspectives, different ideas, different opinions. If we agreed with everything that somebody did, that's when we get into a really dangerous place. And I look at Kane. You know, I want to say Glenn Jacobs, but let's be honest, it's Kane. And it's funny to me. Imagine if I would have told you 20-something years ago that fucking Isaac Yankum could end up being a mayor in Tennessee someday. You would have taken that bet every damn day. You would have mocked me for two-plus decades, as you probably should have. I am the dentist. I'm going to pull your tooth out. That dude could potentially be mayor. There's something inherently cool and awesome about that. Like, it's, it's actually something pretty badass about it. And I think when you look at Glenn Jacobs, you look at Kane, and you look at the fact that this was a guy that had some struggles early on in his career, found his passion, found his life's work, but it did not go the way he wanted initially. It did not go the way he might have hoped. And it was bordering on being a potential disaster. 
but he worked hard. He kept working. He kept working. He kept a positive mindset, a positive attitude. And when he finally got that break in the form of the Kane character, when he finally got something to latch onto, the guy sunk his teeth into it and made every single ounce out of the opportunity that he had. That is something that I find incredibly respectful and admirable about an individual. You could be able to chase and pursue your dream, your life's passion. And even when you face barriers and obstacles and challenges and it doesn't go well at first, you keep coming and you keep coming and you keep coming. And you take that risk and eventually that risk pays off. And you go on to become a big star and enjoy a 20-year career plus. That's nice work if you can get it. And to me, that's something to really look up to, something to admire. And I feel like as an adult male sometimes, we start to think we're adults. We know better. We know this. We know every damn thing. And the truth is we should always be learning. The second we're not learning, we're dying. And I look at somebody like Glenn Jacobs. And even somebody that, from like a political philosophical standpoint, I don't agree with on every single thing or probably a vast number of things. I still feel like there are positives that I can glean for somebody like him. I feel like there are positives that I can learn and apply to my own life and other people can as well. I look at him as a role model in terms of if you continue to work hard, you're a decent person, which by all reports, Glenn Jacobs has always been known to be a stand-up decent individual, good things will eventually happen the odds will have to eventually break in your favor. And they most certainly have with him. And I know in recent years, seeing Kane on TV, people are like, oh my God, it's Kane. And it's a shame. Because this is a guy that we should really latch on to, and I think deep down all of us have an eternal respect for, because we know he was given a lot of crap early on in his career. He overcame it, and he became a star. He became an important figure in the history of WWE. He's not going to be on the first page or even the first couple of the pages of the book, but he's going to be in the heart of the book and he's going to be in several chapters of the book because he had an impact. And, and, and it's crazy to me. The same guy that used to sit there and talk like this, the same guy that used to raise his arms and have fire shoot out of the freaking ring post, the same guy that once electrocuted Shane McMahon's testicles has now gotten enough respect from the Knox County community that they feel like he might be mayor worthy. There's something fundamentally freaking awesome about that. I don't care. So I don't know if he'll win. I don't know if he'll lose. I would imagine based off of name recognition, he has it. Um, the area that he's in, he's going to more closely align uh, with the residents, the constituents there. So I would fully envision at this point that Glenn Jacobs will be the mayor of what is it, Knox County in Tennessee come Whatever their election is in November or what have you. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that to me. It's about how t high time that wrestling was able to get away from this stigma that has been so sloppily and lazily attached to it that so many other forms of entertainment are able to get away from. Whether you like it or not, Donald Trump is not a great human being. You might like him as a president. I feel like you could like him as a president and acknowledge that he's a very flawed individual and not exactly a good upstanding guy, not exactly a role model. You look at somebody like Arnold, you find out with his story, he had a great backstory coming from not much and becoming this world-renowned bodybuilder and breaking into movies and becoming an international blockbuster superstar then you find out that he's dinking around and doing this and doing that. So he's not exactly the best role model, but you could still look at parts of that story and glean something from it. It'd be a positive. I look at somebody like a Glenn Jacobs and say, I don't have to agree with everything that the guy believes in or stands for to acknowledge that the thought of him being a mayor somewhere is pretty cool and opens up opportunities and doors for other people and can help break down the stigma that is associated with professional wrestling. And to me, that's a pretty cool thing. So what do you think? If you lived in Tennessee, would you vote for Kane? No matter what he felt politically? And what do you think about the thought of somebody like Kane, this almost seven foot big ball motherfucker, is about to be mayor somewhere in the middle of the damn country? 
That, that's pretty cool if you think about it. It really is. And you know what? He's worked hard to get to the position and point in life where he is where he can do something like that. And for that alone, I salute him.